you know, a, a set of, you know, uh, because we have 24 hour sound monitoring on it. So then we have to get the engineers out, the engineers have to go, you know, pull the recorder, pull the, you know, the noise data that's there. And, and then DEP has to make a ruling on what, what the sound level is for. And as I said, out of the six complaints, we've never even been close to the amount of sound. I don't think they go ahead. Uh, kind of a dick's feel. Now, you said the only thing that you, that you did here was Wednesday? I believe so. Didn't you do bird studies here? No, I, don't, I don't believe we've done. No, I think we were planning on doing the bird studies. Well, it's funny that the camping, camping application refers to the bird studies that were done at current home level. I think with that, I think that, I think we had this discussion earlier, uh, probably about a year ago, where there was confusion in the fact that maybe it was on a piece of Dixfield property and people were saying that um, we had done the bird study uh, during the moratorium. And I think we approved, but I can check, I can double check, I think we approved uh, to the DEP that that bird study was done for the camp project, not for uh, the Dixfield project. Because I believe that came up and I would refer to the two selectmen in the back. I think that was something that came up at a meeting. Um, and we were asked about that because, you know, I think we were accused of uh, doing something during the moratorium. Um, but it wasn't for uh, Dick Field. In the, uh, in the uh, can application, it refers to the Department of Fish and Wildlife mm -hmm. allowing these studies on Colonel Holman Mountain to be used on the camp project, just, just to... Well, I mean, to keep, you know, keep in mind that I, up until two years ago, yeah. uh, I had no right to go on Colonel Holman. That uh, Thorndike's property isn't on Colonel Holman Mountain. Peter Holman and his brother are yeah. on the Holman Mountain. Oh, okay. And so, you know, I don't know if that's Little Mountain or Burnt Mountain. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I mean? They're even trying to refer to the whole Ridge Line. Uh, yeah, I mean, if that's, if that's what we can consider you know, Colonel Holman, but out of respect to Peter, yeah. uh, you know, people have been saying, oh, we're up on Colonel Holman, and, you know, I've talked to Pete, and you go, we got to, I don't care if you go up there, but will you let me know? And I'm like, Pete, I'm on your land. But, so, I mean, just for clarity. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of just turning it or shutting it off? I mean, how does that work when... I mean, I have to be in compliance, um, you know, with the DDP rules on Flickr, and that will be known before the project. I mean, right. if there's a Flickr problem, then I've got to approve my permit. Right. Uh, now, if, you know, and the same thing with notebooks. Okay, I mean, if the question you're asking is, is it possible that, say, we're at 36 decibels and it's bothering somebody, can I manually turn the turbines down so that the speed is less? Sure. But I could probably tell you that I would. Right. I mean, but yeah, I'm just trying to bounce. Because if, if you get into a position where, um, you know, let's say you're sounding and you mess something up badly on one turbine compared to one residence, I would have no choice but to turn it down to be in compliance. So, I mean, yeah, it, it is possible, but, you know. On the other side of the point, to make this, uh, there are records that indicate when turbines get turned down because, you know, people, you know, if you're doing a sound study, people like to say, oh, the come just turn the turbines down and pass the sound study. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, places in North Carolina and other places that monitor the turbines. And so when we do a sound test, we also provide them with, you know, what manually, it, that has been 
and we don't could have been done in the terms because you know we get accused of uh, a lot of things, and you know you need to be able to prove that you know what you're doing is on the up and up. Plus, you know there's usually a third party person who would be looking for. Yeah. 